What you guys got another video on how to upgrade to Windows 11 23 H2 with unsupported hardware. So if you've got an old PC that doesn't support Windows 11 officially, then I'm going to show you a way to be able to get this installed on your system using the upgrade method that I'm going to show you in this video. So first off, head over to Microsoft and download the latest ISO. Choose the multi-edition ISO. Make sure you choose the correct uh, language version. This is the version that you're running on your PC. If you use a different version to the one that you're using on your PC. So for instance, if you're using English International on your computer, you need to select English International for the ISO that you're downloading. Otherwise, it's not going to work correctly. You will not be able to uh, save your apps and programs. So go into settings here and go into your language area and make sure when you go to region that it all says uh, what edition you're using here. So for instance, you can see United Kingdom. That's the version that I need to download here, which will be international. Right here will be United Kingdom and United Kingdom up the top. So that would mean I'd need to download the international version of ISO. If it says United States, then download the United States version. It's that simple. If you don't get that right, when you go to upgrade, you will not be able to keep your apps. So let's go ahead and get this downloaded. And once we've got this downloaded, I'll show you how we can upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 using this method. So I'll let this download. So once this is fully downloaded, we will need to get a script so we can upgrade to the latest version of Windows 11. Let me show you where that is. This is this website right here on GitHub. I will leave a link on my website for this particular download. You can see Bypass 11 here. You can basically click on this one here. And this will then open up another little page here. And what we're looking for, as you can see right here, is skip TPM check on dynamic update. That's what we need to download. So let's go ahead and what we'll do is we'll click on this and this will then show us the code that is used for this particular bypass. Now, of course, it goes without saying that you should be reading through the whole of this code to make sure everything is OK with you. I've looked through here and I can't see anything malicious in here but you need to do that for yourself to make sure you're okay because you are running it on your PC. So basically, once this is done, you will then be able to upgrade to the latest version of Windows. So let's go ahead and we'll get this downloaded. And what you need to do here is hit the little download up the top here and click on it. It will say, do you want to keep this? Because it's a script, it wants to uh, warn you. So we're going to keep that and it's now downloaded onto our computer. So now we can go to our download section on our PC. And what we'll do is we'll take a look at the files we've just downloaded. And this is the files here. We do have our ISO. So let me go ahead. And what we're going to do is we'll mount the ISO and we'll try and run this on the computer and upgrade. And you'll see that it won't upgrade because this computer is not compatible with Windows 11. So I'm going to click on the setup file once we've mounted the ISO. And we can go through the install. Windows 11, it will get a few updates ready. And uh, basically what it's going to do is tell us that we can't upgrade to Windows 11 because the PC is not compatible. So as you guessed it, you probably know that Microsoft have set up some uh, pretty stringent uh, system hardware requirements that you have to meet. And if it doesn't meet those requirements, then you're not going to be able to install Windows 11 or even upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10. You'll get this message right here. So if that is the case, then what we're going to do is I'll show you. We'll quickly run the script and we'll go through the same process again and you'll probably see that it will work. So let's go ahead and go back here and we're going to click on this one right here. Right click and run this as administrator. So I just want to show you the extension here. I'm just going to quickly change the view here. So to show file extensions and show uh, un hidden files, folders and drives here. And now when I pull this back, you can see it's a command that it's going to be using. It's an actual script here. So let's go ahead and run this as administrator. You'll see Windows protected your PC. That's because we do have a unknown publisher. If you want to continue, click yes and leave this box open and wait for four seconds. Just let it do its thing. And once that's done, we can now uh, go ahead and go back to our ISO and we can now uh, install Windows 11 or upgrade to Windows 11 on here. So let me go ahead and we're going to go back to this PC and go back to the mounted ISO, which is right in here. 
and we can click on the setup.exe right here, click yes, and away you go, the actual box will start to open and say install Windows 11 again. It's gonna go through the same thing, get some updates ready, it will restart it, and then basically if we see the license agreement come up, then that means it's been bypassed and we can now install Windows 11. And there you go, the uh, license agreement has popped up, which is good, and we can click accept, and we can get updates ready, and it will then go ahead and start to prep the system ready for the upgrade to Windows 11. So I'll speed this process up here so we can get to the end of it. So it's gonna make sure everything is okay. This is the part I wanted to talk about here where it says keep your personal files and apps. Now remember, if you don't select the right language uh, part here, it's gonna gray this out and you won't be able to keep your personal files and apps. So if you get a check mark here, that means you've downloaded the correct ISO with the rec correct language pack. Like I told you before, go into the language area here, inside region, and make sure it's exactly the same as what you're downloading from Microsoft website, and you will still see that keep personal files and apps, and it just means you'll be able to upgrade to Windows 11 without having to lose any of your data or applications. So you can see now we're starting to install Windows 11 on this system. I'll speed this process up, and it's gonna then restart and get the system ready. You can see here it's working on updates. I'll quickly speed this bit up as well. And we are now there, and we're at the desktop of Windows 11, and you've just upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11 using this new method. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. Now it's important to know that Microsoft don't want you installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Yes, they have offered a workaround if you want to run it at your own risk, but they've also said they could make changes or stop Windows updates to that system because it doesn't meet Microsoft's strict system hardware requirements. So it's important that you understand that you do this at your own risk. The more sensible solution would be to use Windows 10 up until end of life, which is on 2025, and they could extend that a little bit longer rather than run the risk of running Windows 11 on unsupported hardware because with Microsoft's track record, they could make changes at any given time and of course stop updates to that system because it recognizes you're using that computer on unsupported hardware, or they could do other changes and force you to reinstall Windows and then they could block it. So there's many reasons why it's probably risk to reward really what you're getting is a little bit of longevity with that system, but of course it could be a major headache down the line. Anyway, but as I said, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. It is an educational sort of video to show you that you can do these things. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a great day. Bye for now.